police and fire were called to the uh, 1800 block of 119th Avenue here in the city. We found a female uh, unconscious and unresponsive on the floor. That female on the floor, 17-year-old Kristen Taylor, an aspiring model poised to follow her sister, supermodel Nikki Taylor. Police say it would be Nikki Taylor who made the discovery. She was transported to Hollywood Memorial West and pronounced dead at 5.40 in the morning. At 4.31 a.m. Sunday, police were called out to the Taylor home in Pembroke Pines. When they arrived, they found Chrissy Taylor already dead. When the EMT arrived at the scene, the patient was virtually dead, didn't have any kind of uh, respiration or uh, pulse. Police say they are ruling out foul play. Initial reports indicating the teenager may have died of heart failure. The autopsy did not reveal evidence of natural disease or evidence of injury. 7 News has learned Kristen Taylor had difficulty breathing and was taking over-the-counter medication to treat it. A lot of people believe that if you have over-the-counter medication that this is like candy. It's truly not candy and it's not supposed to be taken except when prescribed by a physician. But exactly why Kristen Taylor died is still a mystery. A 17-year-old Cooper City High School student with dreams of becoming a supermodel. Today, the flag at Cooper City High at half staff and her friends remembering the girl with a smile. She was very happy, pretty. She had a lot of friends. Very nice girl. Now, the cause of death has not been determined. In fact, the medical examiner is awaiting the results of two more examinations, which will indicate to him if drugs or alcohol played a role. The autopsy did not reveal evidence of natural disease or evidence of injury. So how this aspiring model died is still a mystery. 17-year-old Kristen Taylor found dead inside her house in Pembroke Pines. Her sister, supermodel Nikki Taylor, would make the discovery. Police and fire were called to the uh, 1800 block of 119th Avenue here in the city. We found a female uh, unconscious and unresponsive on the floor. She was found yesterday at 4.31 a.m. inside her parents' home. The teenager was given CPR, then transported to Memorial West. Kristen Taylor was pronounced dead at 5.30 this morning. The question now, how did she die? And at this time, we don't know that. Today, the medical examiner is saying the cause of death is still unknown. However, initial reports indicate there is no evidence of gross natural diseases and no evidence of injury. He adds, The patient had a prior history of asthma, and she took um, uh, bronchodilator which is a puffer which dilates the upper airway in asthma patients. Which he says in some cases has affected the patient's heart. The assumption is that there might be in the bronchodilator substances or carriers which might affect the beating of the heart and may result in a cardiac arrest. Cyber images of a beautiful face are still online at Chrissy Taylor's address. A page once devoted to the young model's growing success begins this day with the growing mystery of her death. But medical experts are turning to words written on paperboard, the container of this bronchial spray. The directions say relief from asthma. The warning says it may cause heart failure. And Broward County's medical examiner thinks it might have. So there might be in the bronchodilator substances or carriers, which might affect the beating of the heart. The 17-year-old was taking the over-the-counter drug, Fred say, even though she'd never been diagnosed with asthma. She just had occasional shortness of breath. And that may have primatine mist's makers nervous. In a news release, Whitehall Laboratories writes, our ability to respond now is limited because we don't have all the facts surrounding her death. But 7 News has learned the company is sending the director of its drug safety division to South Florida to meet personally with the ME tomorrow. At the Taylor House, flowers still sit on Chrissy's pickup, and her supermodel sister Nikki has canceled all shoots, her agent says, to be with family. Consolation is flooding into the Pembroke Pines home through cyberspace. Friends are sending wishes over Chrissy's email page. Admirers upset the woman with such a healthy smile died and waiting for updates about why. And we'll get the final word on whether or not the drug had anything to do with the model's death in a couple of weeks. That's how long it'll take toxicology tests to be finished. 
I'm Cinnamon Stouffer, Fox News, Miami. She, I mean, she was beautiful on the outside, but her personality, everything about the inside of her was just, it was amazing, and everything, I mean, she did so much for everybody. A life sadly and unexplicably cut short is remembered on this night with flickering candles and with grieving friends. They are gathered at Westlake Park in Hollywood, bound by the common urge to honor the 17-year-old up-and-coming model, Chrissy Taylor. It's not like she's gone because she's everywhere around us. She's up in a better place. She just meant the world to all of us, and she still does. She didn't think she was all supermodel. It was always her friends were first, and that was her life. It's a life that ended two weeks ago. The young model's father and older sister Nikki found her unconscious in the family's Pembroke Pines home. Doctors think an irregular heartbeat caused by an over-the-counter bronchial spray may have contributed to her death. Friends say this is how Chrissy Taylor would want it, a simple ceremony attended by those closest to her. There were few tears, mostly fond remembrances. There was nothing that could ever bring her down. She was every parent's dream, like everybody says. She didn't do anything wrong. She never did drugs. She never did anything. She was always your best friend. She was always there when you needed her. But again, this is one of the cases, of the very unfortunate cases of sudden death due to asthma in a young person. 17-year-old Chrissy Taylor, a rising star with a promising modeling career, taken in the prime of her life, suddenly and mysteriously by bronchial asthma, a condition her doctor didn't even know about. She was not treated for asthma. She didn't have a diagnosis of asthma. She treated herself with primatine. Primatine missed an over-the-counter asthma medication that may have contributed to Taylor's death, according to the medical examiner. A friend saw Chrissy use it just a few hours before she died, and before, she told Chrissy's you know, oldest um, sister, Joelle. Her, her best friend, Mel, um, said that she saw her just take one puff a few hours before she went home, and that's, that's all that I know. It's just, it's, it's like a quick fix to, to help you breathe again and I know I've taken it several times I mean pr practically my whole life and um, you, you know you don't think anything's wrong with it. Supermodel Nikki Taylor discovered her younger sister lying unconscious on the floor of their parents Pembroke Pines home about three weeks ago. According to the ME's report, Chrissy suffered from shortness of breath and often had trouble breathing when she was upset. Just this May, Chrissy's doctor treated her for bronchitis, but never diagnosed the asthma. Dr. William Bruno saying based on doctor-patient privilege, he'll have no comment regarding Chrissy's death. Meantime, the Taylor family is just trying to cope with their pain.